Yo, Dr. Amadari here. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to tie the instrument tie, and this video is for right handers. So, to start, we've got our incision pointing away from us, and as always, the needle attached to the purple string. You're going to pick up your needle driver, and the proper way to hold this is with your thumb and your ring finger. You can use your pointer finger near the top to give you some more control. You're going to grab your needle and thread from right to left. When you pull this through, you can pull it almost all the way through, leaving yourself a pretty short tail at the end. And you're going to hold on to this longer end with your left hand. When you tie your knots, you're always going to start with your needle driver laying right on top of the incision, parallel to the incision. For the first knot, you're going to take the long end and wrap it twice around the needle driver. You can see we've got two loops. You're going to grab the free end as close to the tip as possible. This makes it easier to pull through the loops you just created. I'm tying this with thicker strings so you can see, so to get this through I'm just going to have to work it through with my fingers. And there we go, that's our first knot. When you pull it tight, you're going to pull the short end to the opposite direction from where you grabbed it. I picked it up on the right side. To pull it tight, I'm going to pull it over to the left. And there we go, that's our first knot. To tie the second knot, it's essentially the same. Again, start with your needle driver parallel to the incision. This time we're only going to do one loop. From here on out we do one loop. Two loops are only for the first knot. So we do one loop, grab the thread as close to the tip as possible, and we pull it through. We picked it up on the left, so to pull it tight, we tighten it to the right side. And that's our first square knot. So for the instrument tie, the technique is basically bouncing your hands back and forth with one loop around the needle driver and pulling the short end to the opposite side. So let's do this one more time. Lay it down the middle, loop it once, grab the free end, and pull it to the opposite side. Down the middle, loop it once, grab the free end, and once you work it through, pull it to the opposite side. If you've seen my other videos, you know how much I hate crossing my hands, so with the instrument tie, a way to avoid doing this is instead of having your strings come out to the left and right is you can torque them and I'll show you how to do this now you can still start with your needle driver parallel to the incision you form a loop when you grab it you're still going to pull it to the opposite side this time we're going from the top right down to the bottom left and there you go same thing down the middle loop it once grab the free end bottom left to top right. It's a little bit harder to see since the string is all white but we are still tying square knots. And that's it. That is the instrument tie for right handers. Um, the benefits of this is that it's quick, it's easy, and as you can see you can tie a lot of knots at the very end of the suture thread. And This allows you to tie many knots with the same piece of suture and save the hospital some money. So there you go. Practice this knot till you get it. It's very valuable in the OR. Thanks for tuning in and good luck. Oh, uh, almost forgot. Camels can kick in all four directions with all four of their legs, which means the only safe zone on a camel is its hump.